today we're reading Submarine Mission, written by Briley Gibson. Hello guys, today we're reading Submarine Rescue, written by Barley Briley. Briley Gibson. Right, Mama Help. There you go. <laughs> Finding a submarine in trouble. A submarine can move on to the top of the water or deep down at the bottom of the sea. It can stay under the sea for weeks and weeks. If something goes wrong on a submarine, the people on it might have to be rescued. It can be difficult to rescue the people, but rescuers have special tools to help them. A submarine deep under the ocean. You can't really see it. So it might be there because of the lights. When a submarine when a submarine is in trouble, it sends a beacon. The beacon sends a message by radio. The messages tell the rescuers where the submarine is. Is rescuers will the message tells the rescuers where the submarine is. I did. Rescuers will go to the re will go to rescue the people. Oh. I know, baby. You're just having a little hard time. That's it. <laughs> Getting to the submarine. It can take a long time for rescuers to get to a submarine in trouble. Sometimes a diver in a new suit goes down to let the people on the submarine know that help is coming. The nude suit is a suit that people wear if they need to dive deep into the sea. There is enough air inside a nude suit to last for? Um... 48 hours. 48 but guys, hours. I need to tell you about this new suit. If you remove those black stuff and that iron stuff and that blue, white, flag stuff and also those stuff that are hanging it, it could look like Among Us person. <laughs> the oxygen tank, that's important. All right, your turn. The new suit. Nude. Nude. The nude suit is heavy on land, but when is the water? When it is in the water, it is light. The suit is so light that it's easy for the driver to move. To for the diver to move around it has legs and arms and that uh, can move in different ways the the drive the, the diver, diver can walk around on the bottom of the sea the diver can look around the outside of the submarine the diver can see if the submarine is damaged the diver can put airlines between a rescue boat and the submarine this will give the people inside some air until they are rescued. The diver can also give people on the submarine food through a special tube. Getting the people out. Rescuers sometimes use a small submarine. This, submar this small submarine is called a D D S R V. The people on the submarine must be rescued as soon as possible. So, the D S O R R V has to get to them quickly. The D S R V is small enough to be taken to the rescue place. By boat, it, it if it has to be taken to another country, it can be taken inside an aeroplane. That's cool. Yeah. The DSRV is put in the water. It is taken to the submarine in trouble. The DSRV can only fit for 24 people inside, so it may need to make a few trips to rescue everyone. The DSRV goes to the submarine in trouble on the back of another submarine. Inside a DSRV. Whoa. Looks like tunnel eh? an airplane. Alright, that's it. It can be very dark 
at the bottom of the sea. And hard for the blood the pilot to see where they're going. Are going the D S or V has special tools that can tell it if anything it's in is in its way. When it reaches the submarine in trouble, it uses a camera to find the escape hatch. The DSRV drops a tube over the submarine hatch, so submarine's hatch, so that no water can get inside the submarine. Into the submarine, the hatch can be open. Can then be open, and the people can climb out. DSRV. Tube over escape hatch, submarine in trouble. But I need to tell you something, guys. Usually, D S R V is supposed to be an acronym. It is. An acronym is for long words, but the letters are smooshed up together, so it just sounds like letters. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, the end.